All right, welcome back, folks, to another Monster Mash, where I test a monster made for Pathfinder 2nd Edition with a small group of buddies. Uh, we got a four-person party. They are all level eight. Uh, they will be facing a level nine creature, which makes this an easy encounter, which I like to do. I think it gives me a good measure on the, on the monster I've designed and the range of its abilities. Uh, so I'm gonna introduce my buddies, give them a little bit chance to introduce themselves, and the characters they are playing. So we're going to start uh, at the bottom here. Tobias is going to be played by Decaffeinate. Uh, who's this dude? Who's this dude, Decaf? Uh, who's so this Tobias is actually anime boy my... that is polluting my screen. <laughs> well, you know that is uh, <laughs> that is artwork of Robin from Fire Emblem. But uh, I am using him today for Tobias, who was my very first Pathfinder Second Edition character that I've ever played, which was a Polymath Muse Bard for Age of Ashes. Uh, this go around, however, he is actually going to be starting as a Maestro Muse, and I've taken Multifarious Muse to pick up some other Muses. Because what is a true polymath except for one who enjoys everything? Yep, very true, very true. Solid point. All right, next we have another anime boy. Played by Shy. Shy. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I just found art that looked fun, so I made a character based off of that. Um, this is Ryu. Uh, and I have decided to go for a, a cleric build for it of a like a wormkin. Uh, uh, what's the word? Domain. domain thank you. Uh, wormkin domain. Okay. So, uh, I, I've got some other like elements in there that I I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But yeah. All right. Cool. Then we also have my good old buddy Zach. Zach. Uh, Boy. Is playing a Japanese character who looks vaguely yep. anime ish. We can toss her. Oh, we, can, we can toss her into the weeb pile. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing one of the many waifus from Resident Evil. This is Rebecca Chambers, a skilled human, Chirurgeon alchemist with the herbalist dedication. Oh, great. More healing alchemist from you. I remember your last one. It's fine. The and last then one Willy Wonka. Yes, last one was Willy Wonka. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, in his first appearance on the Monster Mash, uh, but not his first appearance in conjunction with Monster Monday, uh, we have James. James, would you like to introduce hi. yourself and your character? Yeah, sure. Uh, hi, my name is James. I do all of the PDFs. Or the Monster Mondays uh, collections. I uh, I'm with Eldritch Osiris Games, and today I'm playing Jack Ryerson, which is a uh, knockoff of a character I played over on a friend's channel forever ago, and realized, oh man, Magus, what a class to come back to. Um, Ugh. I'm so excited <laughs> for it. <laughs> I think well, he should get a fun. hero point for playing the sexiest character in the group. <laughs> for being the I'll only person that is not playing some anime not. trash. Uh, but I just is... found art on Pinterest. You're attacking someone's art. It might not he even is. be anime. But to be fair, That's AI art. To balance that out, he is also it might playing. Be actually... It looks like it. The dragon looks like the two heads are just connected. Yeah, um, via something. <laughs> um, he is, however, playing. The Magus, which, as we all know, is the most weebish class in the entire system. So, uh, that I would argue, not for I'd long, argue it won't be. <laughs> uh, so I'm that thinking will... of the new one that'll be coming up. Maybe oh, exemplar would be it. Um, but yes, 100. The four of you are practice adventurers at this point. You've earned a few victories under your belt. And you were approached by people telling you who they, they saw stars crashing down in the nearby forests. Intrigued by this and greedy, possibly, for any precious star metals that might have been ca contained in these comets, you have ventured out here. Thus far, your search has proved fruitless. But as you enter into a grove, 
and you see scorch marks across the grass. You hear a braying sound. A bleeding, uh, almost like that of a herd animal, of some sort of like a donkey or a sheep. But there's almost a musical tone to it. And bucking amongst the, uh, amongst the groves and the trees is a strange creature, uh, large in size. It vaguely resembles a horse or some other um, ungulate, but has six legs and a long tail, sinuous tail, that ends in a tuft of fur. A pair of horns sprout from, above it, from upon its brow, and its entire body looks as though it was cut from the night sky. The creature in question looks like this. Did Feel I miss something? I did I show the player. Uh, look, I looks see like it. what? Oh! It's invisible. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I'm oh, glad. You, oh, there it is. Hi. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <it's cute. laughs> this is the second time I clicked that. I'm not sure why the first didn't go through. Oh, help! Oh, I. Oh no, I see. I'm seeing it's, devils. It's like <laughs> if My Little Pony was North mythology. <laughs> <laughs> what a description! Yeah, but that's pretty apt. I like that. This creature notices you. And as it does, it paws at the ground and snorts before lowering its horns. <laughs> and we are going to enter combat mode. Ah, it's cute. Kill it. <laughs> no survivors. <Back. laughs> as we all know, and I'm going to get some music going for this. Oof. So since this thing is called a calf, have you worked worked on making a stronger version of it? Not or yet. Or is that just okay? All right, some good rolls, uh, and we're gonna see Tobias leading off this encounter. Oh gosh, okay. Uh, I was not prepared. Big moment. Uh, <laughs> yep. Get there. I hate going first. <laughs> this is actually why I play casters, guys. It's um, I don't want to go first, so I deliberately mess delay. with characters that have low initiatives. Yeah, uh, well, just in case I might have anything that could help. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything I want to do just yet, so I am going to delay, and I'll probably come in after jack okay all right so it will be jack's turn in that case uh okay it needs to get a hell of a lot closer to me because i am not that kind of magus uh <laughs> i am going to use two actions to thought you were gonna oh, say man. Adelaide as well <laughs> uh, i was thinking of it I mean, it is tempting to go right into Horizon Thundersphere, um, but I'll save that for a little bit. Uh, I'm actually going to use uh, Echoing Weapon on myself for two actions. Um, hold on. If a creature is really a weapon at the end of its turn, the weapon discharges to a burst of a sound. Cool, and then it lasts for one minute. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's two actions, and I'm using my last action to actually stride to get closer. Okay. Just so there's a little bit of, maybe not the full 30 feet. I'll go 20 feet just so I'm within range of some people's other stuff. Okay. You'll begin closing the distance, maybe cautiously, mm -hmm. on this strange creature. Right. Perfect. So, um... I'm thankful that you didn't didn't delay because uh, as a cleric I have like <laughs> one of two jobs. <laughs> so I am also funny enough in a similar boat of not really sure what to do quite yet. Uh, so far away, I might 
try to just prepare. <laughs> um, let's see. Only melee is probably Jack. So let's. How far away are you from me? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Perfect. I shall move to here. Boink. And we shall just start with a good old heroism. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. I cannot give you the spell effect, but I think you can yourself. I can. Yeah, I could just drag it on. Yeah. Got it. All right. Thank you. Uh, and okay. that's the turn. Okay. I will then jump in at this point. <laughs> All right. Tobias mm. hesitates for a moment, but seeing his friends move into position, jumps into the fray. <laughs> All right. Uh, because Jack medic is still... All by herself. <laughs> As a second one emerges from the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh all right, seeing that uh, Jack is now a little bit more forward, thankfully for my opinions, uh, I'm going to also cast a on him <laughs> oh. and just say, you got this. Everybody's oh, wow. <laughs> pouring everything into Jack. Just go okay, for I'm not going to say no. Uh, uh, hey, wasted at the start of your next turn. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Uh, and then I will... Effectively, also, uh, for my third action, uh, cast up an Inspire Courage. Man, okay. This is just that Dragon Ball power up scene, huh? <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying no to any of this. This feels pretty good. <laughs> well, that's it what is she said. The creature's <laughs> turn. And as its turn begins, it rears back. Uh, waving four legs in the air as the final two remain planted upon the earth. And as it does so, you see the stars that make up its body swirl and shift, and they arrange into a constellation not unlike that of a hunter, uh, of a man with a spear or a bow ready to strike, as it uses for its first action a line stars. And just to make stuff easy on, make life easy on myself, I'm just going to take this for me as well. <laughs> so it spends oh one action readying itself. Then, for its second action. Yeah, I thought so. Not to interrupt, but do you see the pretty big Yep. weird, weird thing? Yeah, I can fix that pretty easily. It's going to begin moving up. It'll stop short, and as it does so, it sort of tosses its head, and a star, like, runs along its neck and breaks off from its bow brow, almost traveling up its horns, as it makes, as it throws a shooting star at Jack. Mm. Ooh, this is not Oof. a great start for my creature. That is two natural ones for it in a row. But, fortunately, I came prepared for that. Because the star herd calf, guided by the starlight, can change its stars. It's like you planned Ooh. this. It does let me show off a little bit of what I can do. <laughs> so, here we go again. Oh. And the stars align. <laughs> oh, you... you. <laughs> I didn't know better. I would say you are hacking them. <laughs> and so it'll be 30 points of fire damage. Oh, okay. Cool. As I a can take star that. burst just slams into you and shatters into light. That is all three of its actions, which means it is Rebecca's turn. All right. Um, I guess for my first action, I will come stepping up as I should be close, at, or at least close-ish to everyone. 
a second action, I would like to do some kind of recall knowledge check to see if this thing has any weaknesses or vulnerability. Certainly. You are going to want to be using occultism for this check. Awesome. Unless you I'm... think you have an applicable lore. Well, since it's an animal, could I use nature? No, because it is like okay. no animal you have ever seen. All right. Cultism check. 16. You think it is a gug. Multi-limbed creatures from beyond the stars with a terrifying appetite. And what would a gug be a burst? Gugs would be weakest to nothing inherently, but have ah, poor okay. reflex saves. Okay. Just to give you something. And I guess for my final action, I will draw my pistol, since this thing seems to be aggressive. I love the idea of, you know, fantasy setting. Just like, I draw my gun, and I point yeah, it. it. At this mystical this is, creature. <laughs> it's just straight up Rebecca from Resident <laughs> Evil. <laughs> uh, that's good, though. <laughs> Round two, Jack. It's funny. <laughs> you are supercharged. Stride. Spell strike. Okay. Uh, if, it's, if it's got that attack of opportunity. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> it, had to use, it had to use a reaction to change its stars. Okay. Um, I'm then going to throw a, a telekinetic projectile into my strike. Okay. So you've got this, so, this pick, this great mm, pick that you're wielding in two hands. And you mm, telekinetically amp it, sending it hurtling with great force at this creature. Let's go ahead and see it. Okay. So plus 18. For a hit. That All is a right. hit because of Inspire Courage. Nice. <laughs> what about heroism? <laughs> uh, those are both oh, statuses. Well, it's, yeah, so it's from <laughs> those one are both of those. status bonus. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> it's fine. Um, they're both giving me benefits of different things. Uh, oh, God. That was just a hit because of Inspire. Well, I rolled a 10. Uh, All right. Cool. So that on because that succeeded. That's a success on um, telekinetic projectile. So that's twenty points of damage on the strike, and then we're gonna do bludgeoning damage because I already hit, and then an additional nineteen from telekinetic projectile hitting. My poor creature. It reels. We're all pouring it into one person. Yeah, it reels in pain from this gonna... blow. Uh, I do technically have my hasted action. You do. So I'm going to double check um, how many that. attack. This counts as two attacks for multiple yep. attack penalty. Yeah, we might as well just might we as well could... just bake it on a third. Or you could arcane cascade. Uh, I can't in one action. Just... Oh, because my quick yes. action was to move. Yep. Ah! That's so... Yeah, never mind. I've... Uh, what was the last damage type I did? I did bludgeoning, so... Arcade Cascade. <laughs> Alright, your weapon just shimmers with force. And as your turn ends... Echoing weapon triggers. And so... What level did you cast Echoing Weapon at? Uh, let me double check. I believe that was level one. Okay, then it would be one, one point so... of sonic damage. Yes. All right, excellent. Blood has been drawn against this strange beast. Ryu, it is your turn. All right. So, I think I want to just try and follow it up. Try and assist. I've uh, given a buff. Now let's try and uh, give a uh, debuff. Okay. I cast fear. Ooh, all right. 
So I will make, is that right? Oh, that number is off. Okay, let me adjust that real quick. I'm gonna say that looks lower than I meant it to be. And here comes a will save. Ooh, fail. So it will become frightened too. All right. Um. Oh goodness, did I actually give myself any? Did I really not? Oops. No. Not I don't have all. any single action spells. Uh. <laughs> hmm. That was an oversight. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, Would you he like to move picks, up? He pulls out the staff on his back. Okay. Third and final action, Tobias. All right. All right. Uh, well, uh, since we've got that apparently getting handled with some fear effects, uh, Tobias is going to cast Inspire Heroics. Uh, as he is using the spell shape of this to increase the potency of his courageous anthem. Uh, so mm -hmm. I have to make a performance check against the highest will DC of my allies. So who, what are your guys' will DCs? 24. Uh, uh, plus 14. 27. 27. 24, 27. Okay, so 27. Hi. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Performance. No, it's all good. Here is my performance check. And you succeed. For a 32, so that is a success. Uh, so the uh, I will then cast my one action, Inspire Courage. Uh, everyone now gets a plus two instead of a plus one. I can start applying this to people. Sweet. Uh, and then for so that was my only... last two actions. Yeah, that was one action. Yeah. Uh, so then, uh, for my last two actions, I am going to... This thing is still pretty far away, so I am going to go at range, and we're going to attempt to cast painful vibrations on this thing. Not good vibrations? <laughs> Not good vibrations. No good vibes from Tobias today, unfortunately. Pick it up, All good right. vibrations. Okay. <laughs> Creature will attempt to make a save. And fail. Ooh, okay. So, so he's damage, also then... now second one. Yes, sir. My poor boy. Ooh. All right. Well, hopefully he survives to pull off his big stunt. Uh, but it is his turn. And I think I'm going to try to do this, uh, I'm gonna try to retch to start with. This creature shudders, uh, overtaken by this strange sensation it's unused to. And it is <laughs> no longer right. second. Wow, amazing, beautiful. Good for it. It will spend its second action to once more align its stars. But this time, the image that appears is that of a savage beast. An animal. And as this, as this shape shows up in its stars, its body aligns and its cute muzzle twists and grows into a hard, fanged maw. Oh dear. That is going to bite at Jack with. He got frightened in a whole bunch of, you know, good bonuses, so good good luck, bud. Still got the target on you. So here we go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Course. Well, I could I could change the stars, but I'm not sure if I do that my creature will survive to show off the thing I wanted to show off. So I guess I'm just going to suffer that. Uh, villain point for the sake of testing. Yeah. Yeah, I might just do that. Bet that'd be a bad it's, idea. It's not necessarily like... It's not like we're trying to not die in like an actual campaign, so like... Yeah, let me do... I will, I, I will spend one of my, my villain points from my innumerable pile of them. <laughs> hey! 
fuck? What is <laughs> up with you? What, is what did cool. I do? <laughs> Welcome to the <laughs> I was- I came in peace. I was real nice. It but, did not oh think you were. Oh my god. <laughs> this will be a critical hit. And this attack actually specifically, unlike its other strikes, has a deadly trait. Oh no. <laughs> of course it does. You feel safe? 57 oh. points of piercing damage. As this horrid, oh. fanged maul just closes down on you and tears a piece Ouch. of you away. I'm so grateful for temp HP. <laughs> Rebecca, might be time for you to get to work. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, for a single action, oh, and then my I'm going goes down to... By one. I'm going to activate... Or her quick alchemy to mm -hmm. scrap something together real quick. And did you... Are we allowed to combo free actions together? Uh, as long as... like, Because a couple free actions will say your next action has to be this. So as long as you aren't taking a free action that says that, and then doing another free action, you're good to go. Oh, so both of these say craft so i can only use one of them uh no you should be fine all right well i'll just let me know yeah, if i can do th this throw it out there we'll, we'll determine it with quick alchemy i'm going to turn my healing bomb into also a smoke bomb oh interesting okay now i think the issue here might possibly run into the additive trait yeah you can only add so many additives you can only add one additive to a single alchemical item Ah, okay. Then I'll just make it a healing bomb so I can throw it. Okay. I will be making a moderate healing potion. And uh, then you I'm mean going... elixir of life? Oh, uh, yes. Yes. Wrong one. That <laughs> one. And then, uh, since it's a bomb, I will attempt to throw it at uh, Jack. Well, wait, no, you meant, you meant a lesser elixir of life, right? Uh, because for a healing bomb, it has to be an elixir that is at least two levels lower than your advanced alchemy level, which should be, lesser... which should be level eight. Yeah. Um, I thought, I'm sorry. I thought you... five. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you said moderate. I must have misheard you. I apologize. No, it was the moderate healing potion, but the lesser elixir had, of life. Yeah. 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 All right, so cool. Throw... <laughs> we got Make that all figured out. It. Yep. Throw it. Drop it. 23. <laughs> Is that a hit against uh, Jack? I have bad news. No, it's not. Well, as long as it's not a critical failure, he hits even on a failure. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, and you regain Three, hit two, points one. as though you had consumed the elixir. So do you want me to roll it or want him to roll it? Uh, you it can... is your healing potion. I would like you to roll right. it. Let's see if this you make water down. As in... Yeah, it well, works uh, like a regular elixir of life. Yep. Oh, no. It's like in roll 20? Oh. Two uh, I don't know. I think... Oh, yep, it worked. Yeah, there we go. All right. 17, 17 points healing. of healing to Jack. Okay. And so that's two actions to make and then throw. And then I guess my final action will be a attempt to shoot this horse in the face. Okay. Now this is attack number two. So make sure so you're targeting the horse and click attack number two. What? It says my pistol's not loaded. Oh no. I put bullets in it. Not this issue again. You have oh, to active. On. It's a it's a whole thing. It's oh, it's because uh, you, have, you have, the have the PF2E ammunition. ranged data. Yeah, that's the ranged combat module is like annoying when it comes to that stuff. All right, it, it took like a while to figure out. Looks like you've got. You should be loaded now. Give it another so shot. I still cannot perform. Oh boy. I have the 
ammo selected, but it doesn't also so, give me a reload button. Uh, you have to actively grab that. So uh, I believe it's the rollable tables. Hold on, let me. What? Or how to? <laughs> no, it's a whole. It's it's dumb. Um, I, we... I, I'll just. Oh, I found up. it. I found it. Um, go to not reload. Uh, the compendium packs and just search reload. I, and it should just be the first thing I'm that comes action. up. I'm just gonna start running up the kit in range of him. All right, uh, compendiums. Oops. Yeah. So if we go here, yeah. Reload. Under the compendium packs, there's an actual reload action. And uh, if anything, it looks kind of like this. Oh uh, wait, I can't. All right. Well, while you uh, figure that out, it is Jack's turn. Okay, um, I'm semi-confused on something for, like, the first time in a long time. Okay. Is Force Fang essentially just Magic Missile for Magus? Because yes. I'm not seeing an attack trait. Okay, cool. I read it correctly. Uh, I'm gonna open up with Force Fang. Okay. Which is a conflict spell, so they automatically just take 2d4 plus 4. Uh, right. so it's 10 Four, damage. 10 points of Force damage. Um, I imagine with you being a Nagaji, they almost do look like two fangs. They do. Um, okay, so because that didn't have the attack, that automatically recharges my spell strike. Yep. And so I'm going to pump in a two-action Horizon Thunder Sphere. No, Ooh. oh sorry, no, no, hold on. Magnetic acceleration, because I feel like oh, okay. this is a little cool. Um So I still have to make the attack. Yep. Ooh. Oh, even with all the bonuses. Do we have hero points or is that something I didn't know uh, going in? You know what? Fast. I did forget to tell it to you, so I guess uh, since it is your first time, I'll give you one for free. Normally, I have people oh, roll to see if they have a hero point. Oh, you're I too nice. Roll. I appreciate the... Oh, no. Oh, I now want even better. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That goes horribly for me. Um, yeah, you... everything go. Nothing goes my way for that. <laughs> you accelerate it too fast, and your axe just bites. Your pickaxe just goes straight into the ground, just boom, into the earth. Yeah. Um. I guess I have one action left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, might as well go for it while we're in the business. Uh, actually, let me turn off arcade. Uh. Arcade Cascade, because that would be off. No, no, that, that persists. I thought it was... Oh, my bad. Hold on. Let me turn it back on then. Um, boop, boop, doo, doo. Let's yeah, just see if a normal attack will hit. because they, they fixed... Uh... Nope, unfortunately not. Nope. But, but yeah, especially because... My bad dice the, uh... block is <laughs> followed. <laughs> the errata warding um, with the remaster. It's no longer... You have to be doing it every round. Oh, that's cool. All right. Well, I... that unfortunately is all. Uh, yeah, that four is all four. Yeah. Yep, because that final one was your strike. Ryu. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, it's still frightened one, yeah. Yes. Okay. It's also um... deafened. I didn't put that Fair condition enough. on it, but it is deafened technically. All right, then in that case, I think... So your auditory spells, your auditory effects will have no use on it. I'm That's, you know that. what, fair. Uh, Jack, how are you looking health-wise? <laughs> <laughs> if I had to put a number on it, I'd say it's like 44 out of 110, you know? Oh, man, on a scale of 110, huh? <laughs> All right, uh, then in that case, Jack, I will go ahead... If Jack was a pizza... Composed of 110 <laughs> pizza slices. <laughs> there would be 44 left. <laughs> ask me, what crackhead cut your pizza? Facts! <laughs> and also, impressively done, actually. That's a lot of slices to be able to cut That's into a single not pizza. Slices! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cast heal. Okay. 
Uh, we'll do it for two actions. Okay. Uh, fourth rank. Because I am a Ooh, cleric. They just big, big come deal. at high ranks. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see it. Yeah. Hey, boink. Oh. A hey, boink. Hmm. <laughs> A boink! <laughs> 57 <laughs> points of healing to Jack. Ooh. Wow. Um, is anyone you're else... too nice to me. Anyone else <laughs> injured yet? I don't think so. Nope. I've only been able to hurt him. <laughs> All right. Uh, then I would love to make use of other things as well. Kind of can't. So... I don't know. I doubt it. I got nothing, man. <laughs> Just come up to here, get ready to whack it if it comes close. I don't know. Okay. I, I wouldn't actually do it, but hey. <laughs> Tobias, that means it is your turn. All right. Well, then I am going to attempt to impede on its action economy here. So let's see here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, yeah, you're within 60 feet. That's all that matters. Uh, we're going to cast a telekinetic maneuver. On Please the don't. creature. <laughs> I'll let you shove it. <laughs> no! On, on its action economy. So. You can shove yeah. or you can trip it. I will ignore any attempts, successful attempts to... Sorry, you can shove or disarm it. I will ignore any attempts, successful attempts to trip it. <laughs> If it wait, hold on, hold on, hear me out. If it if you get all of the arms at once, it, it's effectively a trip bed. <laughs> to shove. That Unfortunately, will that is uh, a mess. That is all good. Uh, then I will continue to upkeep all my inspiration round. Uh, unfortunately, it goes back to normal. Yes. Damn yep. It. it does. It does Damn go back it. to a plus one. So. Everybody keep keep that in mind. But all right, I believe that means it is the uh, the Gug's turn. And the Gug, aligned to its stars, is going to move. In fact, it almost seems to prance. Oh. Let me see if I can. Do this. Okay, beautiful. What's it doing? Beautiful. And it moves in a strange pattern. And those of you, the more keenly aware members of the party, might notice that the pattern it's moving in resembles the very constellation uh, on its body. And as it moves, you also notice that it sort of prances through the air. It walks upon the air as though it were ground itself. And as it lands back in its starting position, you see the uh, constellation glowing over your heads for a brief moment. This is its celestial cascade. And the stars move and the beast unleashes a roar it sounds like it is about to split the heavens. And so, for this particular instance, I need all of you to give me a fortitude save. Ah. Uh, ooh, ooh, beautiful. Does Rebecca have a hero point? Ooh. She does not. There you go, Jack. Oh, you don't have the... Uh... Man, swinging wild Interesting. tonight. Okay. <laughs> I'm used to you having the fortitude thing on your thing, but... Yeah, it's because I have it in a different it place. Varies. Yeah. Yep. Can't use premonition of an avoidance. Inspire courage? Does that affect saves? Uh, only only oh. for... Uh, what is it called? Will saves against fear. Oh, gotcha. Oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. So, we have a critical failure, a critical success, a failure. We have the literal full gamut. We have the literal four. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Doing great. So, with that the being the case, be any better. Uh, this is going to be 8d6 sonic damage as this roar just Ooh. rings yeah. down upon you. Oh, great. 
Uh, anybody that about failed <laughs> takes 26 sonic damage. Anybody that critically failed obviously takes double that. Anybody that succeeded takes half of that. And anybody that critically succeeded takes none of that. In addition, mm -hmm. creatures that failed, which was Tobias and Ryu. Oh, yeah, Rebecca, oh, sorry. Uh, Rebecca. I was about to say. There, you both start with R. You mm -hmm. both become frightened too by the sound of this mighty roar. And Rebecca, it is so strong, it is so overwhelming that you also become stunned one. Mm. Oof. But as right. this happens, uh, the stars that were aligned in the, in the Gug's body fade away. They swirl once more into a disparate mass. Interesting. Uh, as a reaction to taking damage, I am going to cast a reaction spell. Okay. As a Tobias appears to get exceptionally trampled upon by this starlight ability. No. Creature and damage cast over selling flourish. <laughs> <laughs> I okay, love so, this spell. <laughs> all right, so I make a will <laughs> save. Yep. 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 It's so ridiculous. Oh, never mind. Ooh. That is a <gasps> 33. So that is a success. So it becomes 33. Dazzled. Until the start of oh, your it's turn. Oh, going to be so good. Frightened. Yay. It's All right. Its turn does end after that. Its frightened value goes down. And it's Rebecca's turn. Rebecca, you have two oh, actions ready. available to you. Uh, action, draw a potion. Action, take the potion. Okay. Drink and draw. Draw and drink. While you roll for your healing, we will move on to Jack. All right. Jack, you stood firm against this thunderous roar from the heavens. I'm not going to take that kind of stuff. Duff. Um, I'm going to use an action to recharge my spell strike. Okay. I am then going to try again with a fourth level magnetic acceleration this time. All right. You gather energy once more, sending your I... pick careening towards this beast. I believe... And the dice. No! Um, come if, it were, on! if it were still frightened too, you would have had it. I can't. My bad rolls are just forever. Um. Yeah, and then hasted action for just a one more silly strike. Yep. Yep, alright. Ryu is Man, dancing across the battlefield. Is such a good roll. Apparently, measuring when you press space moves you. I didn't know mm -hmm. that. Oh. <laughs> That's dumb. Because <laughs> normally it's supposed to just create a point. <laughs> so that's new. Did noted. My bad. All right, Ryu. What are you thinking? What do you got? Uh, well, okay. Well, uh, I'm not what actually are... moving. I'm just trying to figure something out here. <laughs> Move into a flank, maybe. How do I? Thank you. There we go. Uh, okay. What if you go to like just the measurement controls? Okay, I can do that. Uh, I, I guess I could do that, but I have 30 feet of movement, no, so I will move into work. a flank. Okay. You take up a position I will try to benefit you as yeah. much as I can, <laughs> says the cleric, who is actually kind of terrified to be here. <laughs> oh, actually, I need to roll this. Um, I got this. Do I... Let's... You know what? Let's do it again. Okay. Ooh, another fear. As the dragon roars outward. Okay. Oops, I didn't have a token selected. See ya! Alright, it is merely frightened one this time. It has seen this trick before. Damn it. I tried. Will not be caught by it again. Tobias. We'll get through this.
beautiful. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm also going to move in this turn. So we're gonna do my 30 foot movement uh, to get right up here next to Rebecca. And then I am again going to use a spell shape for uh, Inspire Heroics mm. to see if I can't bolster another Inspire Courage. Okay. Use this. I believe the DC would still be 27 at the highest for my allies. Yep. Correct. Here is performance. Oh, come on. And you scrape by Ooh. despite frightened. Yes. I will take it. All right. Uh, everybody gets a plus two for inspire courage then. And then my third and final action, I am going to throw up for myself um, a little handy shield. Yeah. Okay. And that should do it. All right. It is back to the calf. Unable to form its, uh, align its constellations quite yet. The calf will start off by making a horn strike. I guess against Jack? Yeah, oh, no, hit you, me. You just scared me. No, hit me, uh, coward. You scared I... this poor creature. <laughs> this poor noble beast. I might screw myself on this, but I also don't think it's dazzled anymore, so. Yeah, I think that it was unfortunate until the start of Tobias's turn. Yep. Uh, it is still, still frightened. <laughs> so here comes, it turns, throwing its head in Ryu's direction, trying to gore you on its horns. Well, it was nice knowing you. <laughs> Fortunately, these horns do not have the deadly trait. And instead... <laughs> I don't think it's going to matter. We'll only be dealing 36 points of piercing damage. Yeah, that could have been way more. Less, I'll take it, actually, yeah. A lot less than what I got. <laughs> yeah, I saw what that could be. I, I know what that's like. <laughs> it will rear up and will lash out with one of its six hooves straight at your temple. Going for the kill shot. Mm. Uh... Oh, oh, man. You, why? Okay, now hold you. up. <laughs> For mm. some reason, while it is calculating oh, it is into my fear? saves and my DCs, oh. it isn't calculating my Frightened into my attacks. Weird. Oh. Yeah, so that would have missed. That will miss. Woohoo! Let's With play for myself. Third and Quite final action. only me. <laughs> it will move right here. No. Ah, I gotta chase it. Yeah, I, I tried to help with a flank, and somehow I only scared it away. I'm sorry. No, you're Rebecca. Good. Um, and I'm gonna who else? My frightened. Oh, Ryu just got hit, but who else is looking pretty hurt? Jack is looking pretty fantastic, honestly. I'm looking pretty uh, good. Yeah. The bias. Ryu's probably gonna stay back again. Don't Ryu worry. Are, are a little hurt. Well, Tobias. Ryu is also Tobias a cleric. Ryu. All right. Well, then I'm, I'm going to... I'm than uh, the cleric, admittedly. Well, Tobias is right here, so I'll None of them want your help, Zach. Them. None of... Uh, you will <laughs> take, take my healing, healing whether you like it or not. <laughs> yes, waifu. All right, go ahead and give me a medicine check. What DC are you aiming for? Or actually, I guess it's crafting because of your Chirurgeon. Oh, is it? Uh, Chirurgeon yep. allows you to use crafting in place of medicine, if you so desire. Uh, I'll just use medicine. Okay. And I will also... And what DC are you aiming for? Oh, uh... Let me pull up treat wounds. Yeah, 15 is a baseline. You could aim for 20 to heal 2d8 plus 10. Uh, if you're a master, you can aim for DC... Uh, 30 to heal... DC 30, yeah. 2d8 plus 30. Uh, I guess we'll do DC 20, okay. and I'll activate Assurance so that I Ooh. hit it automatically. Okay. You have at least a plus because 10 just you're... for proficiency alone, yeah. Yep, yeah. 
All right, so go ahead and roll 2d8 plus 10 for healing. Beep boop. 23 points of healing to, uh, to Tobias. Ooh, that almost puts me at full. Thank you. All right, that and was one action. This seems to be working. I will shoot the damn horse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> you fire a shot that goes wide, hitting the yeah. tree behind you. Oh, now you. you have to figure out how to reload once more. And final action, uh, hide behind allies. <laughs> hide behind the allies you just healed. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Jack, it is round five. Uh, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit this thing. Okay. Um... I'd like to see you try. <laughs> try my best. I really am. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna hit it with a, a spell strike because I uh, maybe maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. Maybe I should be setting myself up a little bit more. Okay. Um. Well, remember you do have I, the plus two from Inspire Heroics right now. Oh, that's a good point. And I can't do magnetic acceleration again, because... Alright, 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 alright. We are going to do... Um... A fourth level chromatic ray. Ooh. Now, I do so think I'm gonna you see need if to I hit recharge. Before I roll. Yeah. So I do, so action one stride. action recharge. Second action recharge. Third yeah, because Thunderous Strike is... Uh, strike with map and i don't want to yep. activate map yet yeah that's fair i could do force fang it just you know i'll do force fang again okay just automatically take damage yeah at least put something on the board all right so let me mark down that my focus pool is gone the gug uh and actually sorry let me adjust this the gug takes uh seven points of damage <laughs> love that it, I gotta use something to make my turn feel useful. We got this. All right, I'm looking you at you over guys. The token now it shows the creature's actual name. Gug. <laughs> As identified. Because Let's go. Of inspire courage. Because of inspire courage. Nice. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> so much. This is gonna mean so much to me. Uh, okay. So this is the hit for twenty. Okay, so initial hit. I gotta 20. then roll one d four to see what type of damage this deals. Two, orange acid. You immediately take forty two points of acid damage. Ooh. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Wild. Uh, I am still up. Uh, fuck! I'm out of actions after that. Uh, and at the end of your turn, the Echoing weapon goes off and deals two more points of damage. Yes. Um. I'm trying to see if there was any other like, haha. There, but <laughs> you forgot about this move. But yeah, I think that's kind of. Come. Yeah, I think All that's right. kind of it for me. Ryu. So. I'm annoyed because I was just thinking of casting a spell and I realized that it's different than it is from what I'm pretty certain I grabbed in Path Builder, which is uh -huh. now fully up to date with like. <laughs> uh, the remaster. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'll just say this. This is what I was thinking of doing. Okay. Ooh. Ah, Except so the, the remaster the obviously removes. Damage. Yeah, it'd be spirit damage. Okay. So, uh, that is that is what I'm planning on doing. All right. Uh, and so As the I... divine wrath of Apsu comes down upon this starry beast. Okay. Just like a dragon from the heavens. All right, so it attempts a fortitude save. I don't see anything to click on for that, so I will just... Uh, I didn't actually cast it, cast it, so here. Nope. Let's see if that changes it. Nope, not at all. you have to select the <laughs> damage type. Oh, uh... Does it matter? I'll fly it... it, yeah, whatever. Just click on the first one. Okay, here we go. That was almost a 20. Boo. 
So it'll take half damage I, I, from this. All right, yeah, I'll take it. Take my divine 20, not 24, uh, 12 spirit damage. And that finishes off my poor Gug. <laughs> it was only at eight? <laughs> I was at the eight cool. damage? <laughs> <laughs> Truly awesome. <laughs> I guess I could have decided to try and fear it again by coming up close, up to like, uh, up to like here, and then done roar the worm and let you finish it off. But why would we do that? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is at that point in the ser in the uh, in the episode in the mash where. <laughs> We like to sort of open up uh, the creature a little bit and discuss its design. So if you guys would like to do so, if you guys would like to join me on the Star Herd Calf's page, because that is what it actually is, not a gug, as somebody critically oh, failed to identify. Oh, man. Oh, I, man. I really gug. thought. No. <laughs> oh, I found uh, Hold on. So Where this is it? is it is uh, labeled as it's under the it's in the monsters folder labeled as a star herd calf. Mm hmm. I see nothing. I don't think it's viewable to us. Should be. I've said. Have you guys been see a brood it? mother? I've, a demolisher. I straight up just who did to the stream. I forgot to tell you. Guys up. Up. Here we go. There we go. I see it. Star herd calf. I thought I had it set up for you guys. I said didn't save when ah, I did so. Perfect. Grazie. All right. So the star herd calf. This is obviously a level nine creature. Uh, lore wise, because this is a, an original monster I made. Star herd calves are part of a larger group of creatures known as the star herd. Uh, these are interstellar, like roaming creatures. Uh, just naturally, like they're essentially the animals of the stars. Um. But the young ones. Are sometimes sometimes get caught in the gravitational pull of planets and aren't strong enough to escape them, which leads to them crashing on the planet and becoming trapped there until they're either strong enough to escape or a star herd, a full grown star herd, is able to find them and help them get back into the heavens. They are aberrations, um, oh, because they are uh, these alien sort of things. And they are represented with art from Seth Monster. Uh, <laughs> Gotta love Seth Monster. Does some fantastic work. He has <laughs> done. Uh, he did the Clockwork Demolisher. If you guys would remember that, we tested uh, not too long ago. As well as the uh, the Forged Tarragon. But uh, the Star Herd Calf is a bit of a skirmisher. Uh, in this design, not hugely so, because it doesn't have a wide swath of abilities. It is fairly simplistic. Um, it is using a high dexterity for its level. It has, uh, as a sort of wonder amongst the stars, it's got a moderate perception. Rolled terribly for it. Um, but it is a mostly animalistic creature. It's only got that minus four intelligence. So its skills are limited to acrobatics and athletics, which are high and moderate respectively. Excuse me. Armor class, it is using a high armor class. It has a high reflex save, but it has a low fortitude and will. Uh, hit points wise, it is using a moderate hit points. And then it has a high resistance to cold and fire damage, uh, being a creature from outer space, being something that roams amongst the stars. Uh, once fully mature, they become fully immune to cold and fire damage. Uh, it is a very Neat. fast creature. Um, and on the top of it being fast, it has air walk. Oh, yes. goodness. Yeah, no, that thing is speedy as all get out. Yes. And I had to do it that way because of Celestial Cascade. Because it has to trace the area that it affects. Like, to get around all of you guys, I, it had to be, it had to have the speed it had, and it had to stride four times. Hmm. 
Um, That's pretty neat. Wild. Yeah, so this creature is, like I said, fairly simple. Uh, I do want to discuss its abilities before we get into them too deeply, just real quickly. It has a moderate attack bonus on all of its attacks. Uh, and then in range from low damage to high, uh, its shooting stars are low damage. Its hoofs are moderate damage, since it does have to get into melee to use them. And then its horns are high damage. It can also potentially gain a bite, which is at a high attack bonus and has high damage, as well as a deadly trait. Hmm. But to do that, it needs to use the ability central to its kit, Align Stars. Hmm. And so I, so this is a whole like sort of concept, the conceit for this creature is that it attunes itself to constellations and like carries um, their aspect in itself when it does so and can sort of summon them to create effects on the field. So I just started with three, uh, just baseline, but on the sheet itself, I talk about like, feel free to make up your own. You could do something like a constellation of a scorpion that deals poison damage or adds like a venom to the star herd calf and the cascade deals poison damage, <laughs> uh, stuff like that. I fully encourage people to do that. I just did a couple simple ones. Uh, I did the Beast, inspired by constellations such as Ursa Major, uh, Leo, uh, concepts like that. The Hunter is obviously inspired by constellation uh, Orion the Hunter. Um, and then the Water Barrier, I just thought it would be fun, uh, that is inspired by the constellation of Aquarius. And so each of them have different effects. So the Beast like gives the, the Starherd Calf this bite attack. The Hunter essentially gives it heroism. And the water bear lets it ignore difficult terrain, and its movement doesn't provoke reactions as it flows like water across the battlefield. Hmm. Fun. Um, and then I did choose each of these because they each have different saves. So, these Alina Stars and Celestial Cascades are very closely tied together. Um, potentially, a star herd calf could just stay aligned to a star for up to a minute. Um, or just keep swapping between them, uh, which is a strategy. But when, if it wants to affect a large group of people, it has to use its three action celestial cascade. And so I was the one of the largest things that stopped me from building this creature was figuring out how to do this ability because I really like the idea of it just like it tracing the constellation. And I ultimately just decided to simplify it and have that whole tracing concept be a little bit more flavor. Um, and just had the Celestial Cascade be it strides four times. Uh, and it has to end back where it begins. So, you know, it can complete the constellation. So it can complete sort of like the illustration of it. Um, and once it does, that triggers whatever it is attuned to. So the beast is obviously a roar. Uh, that requires a will save. The hunter rains down spears and arrows that require a reflex save to dodge. And the water bear just floods the area in a torrent that requires a fortitude save not to get pounded into the earth by. This would make like a really cool monster hunter monster. <laughs> um, and then finally, uh, it does have some other passives that I didn't talk about. It has no breath since it is a creature from among the stars. It doesn't need to breathe. And then it has a reaction inspired by a fantastic line from an otherwise hilarious movie, uh, Change the Stars. That's a, it's a very neat ability. You, I don't think there's any monsters in Pathfinder that really have something like this. I think there's a couple stuff with like uh, they can reroll stuff, but I, I like this just like it's spending its al aligned stars to save itself as sometimes potentially. Now the one thing I'm thinking about, uh, and feel free to weigh on anything you guys see, but once this creature uses Celestial Cascade, it, it can't use aligned stars again for one d four rounds, and that was my way of essentially saying. Uh, essentially putting Celestial Cascade on cooldown, so it can't just spam it. However, it 
kind of goes on cooldown anyway, because Align Stars takes an action to do. So Star Herd Kef just it right. it can only do Celestial Cascade at most every other turn. Mm hmm Interesting. Which I mean the one D4 is fine if you want the chance to extend that delay. Right. But well that's what I was gonna really say. Would. Do you guys feel like it needs to be potentially extended? Or do you think I should forego I that so. and have it be like have this creature be able to use its stars? more often, align its stars just regularly. Because I think that also works in better with the fact that change the stars requires it to burn its uh, its alignment mm -hmm. to a constellation. I think getting rid of the cooldown, like the 1d4, would probably be best. Yeah. Just because in, I was, I was if you're already like, aligning stars, you're automatically like got a cool doing down. a forced cooldown. And if yeah, it yeah. becomes like, and just because, like, of the party comp, like, if I was a monk and I had stunning strike, like, that goes yeah. away again if you get stunned or slowed, and because we're a high enough level where that's an actual, like, threat. Right. Yeah, because, and I think, I think between it being a three-action ability and it having to use an action to align stars, I think it's fine. And that was something I was thinking, like, mm -hmm. even when we went, when we were going into this uh, encounter, I wanted to bring up and see what you guys felt, how it, how it felt to you guys. I would say it's fine either way, but if you leave the, ex the possible extended duration, that could be another thing to sort of separate it if you from the adult version if you decide to make one. Yeah. <laughs> well, the adult versions might just be able to align stars as a free action. All right. Interesting. That's cool sounding, actually. <laughs> but... Yeah, um, I that was just me sort of going on a rant about this creature. What do you guys think? I like it. I think it's fun. Yeah, I like it myself. I'm dreading the layout I have to do for this creature. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I, you actually, you take that into account. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I looked up a... <laughs> I looked up the Hadronex uh, for how I for how I did the layout. Oh, that's funny. Um, you see a lot of words. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But um, anything you guys notice, uh, design wise, grammar wise, that you want to speak up about, ask about. Um, not that I saw. I thought it was all pretty. You pretty fixed good. the major uh, like spelling issue. That's fine. Yeah, and again, um, I don't copy the text. The text on my document itself is all spelled correctly. The only uh, misspelling I'm getting is it says star herd is misspelled because it's not a word. Word editors need to get better at recognizing fantasy words. <laughs> but yeah, well, if we have nothing else, um, no suggestions on stuff you think that should be added. Uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Then I think we are good here. Now, before we oh, sign yeah. off tonight, I do want to take a chance to uh, turn it over to my guests, to my test subjects here, and let them tell you uh, where to find them. If they, if you guys have social media you <laughs> want anybody to follow, if you have potentially streams or anything that you want to share uh go ahead um just so everybody's not speaking at once why don't we just go in order starting with uh starting at the top starting with decaf anything you want uh, to the only put presence out there? you will find me upon is the ready to die channel on twitch on the weekends you should catch me as one of the regulars testing monsters and uh usually every other sunday for the turn grave affair that is posted on youtube for the monster monday channel but not this sunday we're testing <laughs> it this sunday because one of our number is in hawaii i hope she's enjoying it thread yeah, if you're seeing this in the future be. have a good hawaii trip and aloha. <laughs> Big kahuna, hang down, whatever they say. Um, yeah. <laughs> Keep it real. 
Uh, Osiris, anything you want to put out there? Anything you want to advertise, t- uh, tell people to follow? Uh, sure. You can find me at GeekJames513 on Twitter, where I rant about Pathfinder 2E as it's my favorite game. Uh, I, I'm the guy who does all the PDFs for all three editions of every Monday Monster volume. Soon to be four. And hey, soon to be four. And I want to oh, actually. That's <laughs> very soon. <laughs> I want to. I want to also advertise this because making these original monsters, which is my favorite thing to do. Not that I don't love converting Monster Hunter creatures into Pathfinder Second Edition, but making these original monsters, getting art for them, that is what I really love doing. And to do that, I do kind of need uh, people to support. Uh, those and the plan is because we we've talked about this um we do intend to put together a full book uh it is going to be awesome oh yeah i we've been talking like in in the background about like what that would kind of looks like um what what we would add to it because obviously i gotta i gotta get my grumpy little writer hands on this book (laughs) yeah yeah well uh Nope. Yeah, it's but we need we need good. more monsters for it. And if I if I <laughs> if I'm putting a monster in a book, I I kind of want to have art for it. So that's fair. And I need a I need a, I need money to give uh, artists. <laughs> Damn, those art artists art. always requiring money. Those, those yeah. bastards. <laughs> they need to just those starve. Starving <laughs> artists. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> anything else sorry i kind of jumped in there anything else you want yeah to... that's just that's just it you could find uh eldritch with cyrus games pretty much wherever and we just released monstrous beasts work on a lot kind of, of yeah of... just a lot of cool stuff by them in general some real awesome stuff. we've been very very busy uh especially with the remaster now out that we've had to do a very fun shift into oh god what are we doing <laughs> well excellent uh shy uh, well, similarly to Decaf, I'm in uh, a couple of the, the, the things that uh, BB here runs. I've got Turngrave Affair that we're all just trying to live through, as well as, uh, you know, the monster tests. I, I would like to consider myself a regular at this point. I think that's a, a pretty good way to word that. Um, but separately as well, I'm, I'm known as Shy Binster as uh, a streamer of my own accord. I do gaming content that's fairly random but sticks mostly to rpgs at least at this moment point in time i am playing one right now so if you're interested feel free to stop by oh yeah and zach ahoy so yeah i'm zach uh aka kaiju corner uh i am in a adventure that jake is running he's an adventure that i'm running both pathfinder 2e uh, and you can find most of my personal content at YouTube and Twitter and Twitch as Kaiju Corner. Uh, lately, I've mostly just been kind of streaming Pathfinder, but I will get back into giant monster stuff eventually. And uh, well, now, I mean, yeah, Zach. Speaking of your campaign, in which yeah. I play the illustrious non-bimbo uh, Cosmos Oracle Gasa. <laughs> Yeah. What do we got to do that I can have a star herd calf animal companion? Ooh. Um, Ooh. What level? I'm not, I'm not sure I'll, of the level caps of animal I'll, companions. Well, well, I'll make an animal companion version of him, all right? It's something that'll be in the book when we release that. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. We're teasing stuff. Uh, yeah. But <laughs> that covers it. Um. You guys can find me here. I assume you did if you're watching this. Uh, so thanks for they checking us out. <laughs> yeah, thanks for checking out. Thanks for hanging out with us uh, tonight. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, um, holidays are coming up. Enjoy them. Enjoy your family. Stay safe. Be good. See you next time. Happy holidays. Bye.